Veteran webinar creator Mike Agron says that every webinar should have a call to action, but it should come after the valuable information has been presented. Every webinar must have a call to action. Now the call to action can be to continue the conversation, here's how you can get some more information. And part of that could be providing additional content, a, a white paper, a case study, uh, an infographic, something to, to give them something to chew on. And it can be as um, upfront by just inviting them to contact you after the webinar to have a conversation. The call to action though has to come at the end of the webinar when all of the valuable information has been presented to the audience, then it's okay to ask them, if you're interested in continuing the conversation, here's how you can do it. Perfect. In the content marketing world, you talk about case studies, tutorials, business outcomes, metrics, improvements, and you, you do it in such a way that you give examples of how other people have overcome a pain point they had, or a vexing challenge, and how they got better outcomes. And so when you do that, you're teaching, you're educating, you're not selling. That's the big difference.